Mail bag again. Bunch more stuff. Let's get stuck into it. Thanks to my supporters. I'm going to buy things mail bag. Appreciate the donations. It really does help. Running a YouTube channel of this size is costly. It's so pissy the sort of things I do. Actually wrapped up in tape. Of course it is. So these are testers for something. So these are for testing air conditioning systems on cars. And I think you basically push this onto the valve and it squirts them up in here and check the oil levels and stuff in the refrigerant. Something like that anyway. I bought a few because it seemed like an interesting thing to do. Work on the air conditioning system on my car recently. And I thought these might be useful, maybe. Or they could be complete garbage. I really don't know. What's this? What's your instructions about? Halogen leak detector. Okay, right. This is also for working on air conditioning systems, and you can use this to check for leaks of refrigerant systems, amongst other things. It's a sniffer. You just put it around to try and find out where leak is occurring. If you've got no way of actually testing it nicely, you know, like it's, uh, if there's no dye in the refrigerant, you might not actually know where it's leaking out. Um, but this can like, find small leaks. These are really cheap to get. I guess batteries go in here. And it's got a battery holder in there. It takes four AAAs. Again, I've got some of my car's refrigerant system in my air conditioning, which I've been working on. I do tend to get carried away with things sometimes. If I'm working on a particular project, I'll usually buy like everything I might possibly need, even if I don't really know and if I need it. I get carried away. I like to have the whole set. <laughs> right, this looks like a attenuator. This is my attenuators. Got three of them here. So I think they are anyway. I was doing some work on another thing I built, which has been having some RF issues. And I want to actually plug in a tester directly into the output of the transmitter system. And I didn't actually have a way of attenuating the output enough to be safe to connect it. So it's a 20 dB attenuator. At least that one is. That's the same, that's a 10 dB. And this one here is a 6 dB. So I've got 6, 20, and 10. You can always stack them together if you want more. I've got these because of the lower modules I've been using. The gateway which I built a little while ago, um, I did a video about it, which is using lower modules. I discovered that it's having problems with range, and I actually wanted to test the output directly on the output of the lower module in situ. Now I've got the tiny VNA and tiny SA, and I could have used one of those to test its output, you know, check its levels. Well, the tiny SA most likely, but the upper level from these things is too high for that thing to take. So I wanted to drop the level down, which is what I've got these for. It means I can use that little tiny test instrument to test it in situ. Otherwise, dismantle it or bring it in here and hook it up to my CMU 200 or some some other equipment I've got here to check the levels. That's what I ended up doing anyway, because I didn't have these, and now I've got these. I'll do it in situ, use a tiny SA, chuck some attenuators on it, and check the output levels using that. Right, let's see what's in this thing. And it looks like it's another attenuator. What's this one? BNC 10 watt. So same reason, but this is a 30 dB 10 watt attenuator, supposedly up to 4 gigahertz, and this has got BNCs on it. So if I needed to, I could adapt from the SMAs, which I just showed you, to a BNC, and then use a cable and adapt back, and that sort of stuff. So, or if I wanted to use something different, which is not a tiny SA, um, 
it's always pays to have a selection of attenuators, things like that, because you never quite know what you're going to hook up to, and it always pays to play it safe. If you're hooking up to something which may be a bit too powerful for your gear, get an attenuator. Protect your gear. Another box here. A few of these little boxes recently. It's like lower modules. It is. I got carried away buying lower modules again. So I showed these in the last mailbag. And maybe the one before that too. E32 900T 20D. So 20 dBm output. Cover 868 to 915 MHz. I'm replacing my 868 MHz versions with these ones because I can adjust them between two bands because it gives me a bit more flexibility. Amount of vent. I'm getting interference issues. I can then just change frequencies which band I'm running and um, get away from the interference. That's the plan. So this came from Australia. And this is a valve for air conditioning system. So this is actually for my car. It's called the expansion valve. And it's actually mounted on the evaporator inside the car, which is behind the back of the dashboard. Now, I wasn't sure if mine was playing up or not. At the time, I thought it was maybe playing up. And so I purchased one. And it's basically controlled the pressures in the air conditioning system. And they can fail, right? They can get bad seals and stuff like that in them. And I was thinking, well, if this plays up, I want to have the part so I can fix it. I've now got the part. Do I need it? Probably not, but I've got it. Mm. Oh, four boxes in this one. I think I might know what's in these based on the packaging. If I can get into the packaging, my knife slipped me down. Yep, that's what I thought it was. Lower modules. These are the e bike E32's 900T30D, so these are the 1 watt versions of the other modules which I showed you before. So these are the more high powered ones. I'm probably not even going to use these. I found the light powered ones have been working fine. But I got these just in case I needed them. Because, you know, that's what I'm like. Yeah, don't forget to check out links down below for anything you want to look at. These are affiliate links, so it does help support the channel if you buy anything from those links. Check out the videos down below as well. Also, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and maybe consider becoming a Patreon if you want to help support the channel, help me to buy things to show you, or things to fix, or whatever it may be. Catch you later.